civilization or barbarism in authentic anthropology by Dr. Sheikh Antijab. If Homo sapiens were indigenous to Europe, it should be possible to follow his evolution from his alleged ancestors of the interglacial Mendel Reese period, who are supposed to have lived 350,000 years ago, to his descendant, the Cro Magnon of the Solar Train period, who lived 20,000 years ago. However, the paleontological gap between the two has no way been filled to this day. So the pre-sapiens disappeared for 350,000 years without leaving any descendants, and one has to wait until the beginning of the Vermin Glacial period around 80,000 years ago to see the emergence of Neanderthal who then suddenly disappears around 40,000 years ago as well, without leaving any descendants either at the same time that Homo sapiens, namely the Grimaldi Negroid, enters Europe 20,000 years before the appearance, probably by mutation of the Negroid, of the first traces of the Cro-Magnon, the ancestor of the present-day European. The fossil found by Andre de Lunli and named Tautville Man brought no new element to the pre-sapiens thesis. This fossil was dated using the amino acid method, Jeffrey Bada, and the uranium method, K. Furkian. The deposits of the Taesian and the Acheulean industries containing these fossils were said to be between 320,000 G layer to 220,000 F layer years old. This taut veil man, as his inventor seemed to think, was an intermediary between Homo erectus, Pithecanthropus, and Neanderthal man. He had a prominent sub superorbital orbital protuberance so characteristic of Neanderthal with a cranial capacity inferior to that of the latter. There is another fact that deserves to be pointed out. The industries associated with pre-sapiens are characteristic of Homo erectus, and by supreme contradiction, these industries are more primitive than those of the Neanderthal man, the Maustrian. Indeed, we are beginning to see that Tautville man is associated with both Taesian industry and that of Middle Acheulean. Similarly, Fontaine-Chevard industry is Taesian and that of Swanscombe Man is a Julian. So many facts often left in the dark have led paleontologists like Vandermeesh to reject the thesis of pre-sapiens. The evolutionary period just considered goes from the Mendel Reese to the Reese worm. Vandermeesh thinks that it is unintent untenable to state that during a span of 250,000 years, both Neanderthal and the first pre-sapiens could have evolved separately within the same European region, each developing his own specific features without any assimilation taking place, which on the contrary should have taken place and thus mitigated the differences. Since the specific barrier no longer existed, interbreeding must certainly have taken place because Neanderthal man is the only subspecies of Homo sapiens. And I will leave it there. We'll continue. I'm your real writing. This is Civilization or Bi Barbarism by Dr. Sheikh Anderson.